Everybody wanted an India Pakistan final in Melbourne on Sunday it is not going to be Pakistan have entered the final but India are out of the competition India were thrashed by England by 10 wickets at the Adelaide Oval on Thursday thus showing the door to the Rohit Sharma led Indian team it was a no contest as it turned out with Alex Hales and Josh Butler hitting the Indian bowlers all over the oval and winning it easily for England we discuss with g vishwanath and ss ramaswamy what went wrong for india and what lies ahead so gv it was uh, an early exit for india would you say i don't think it's an early exit because india reached the semi final but uh, every indian supporter at the oval and also across the world would have been gutted by the result because uh, they all expected india to reach the final and uh, play pakistan in yet another match in the icc men's t20 world cup uh, the story of the day was for everybody to see india was outplayed outsmarted that's what these were the words used by the coach rahul dravid after the match at a press conference uh, england won the toss elect chose to field and india could, india could muster only 168 on a wicket which should have been as dravid himself said maybe it could have been 185 or 190 that also it, it happened only because of a whirlwind uh, unbeaten 63 with uh, many boundary shots by hardik pandya otherwise i think the match would have been o- got over much earlier than what when it got over actually 168 is though was not a small total but uh, josh butler and uh, alex hales who just uh, put on 132 runs one month ago at the opta stadium in perth they scored all the runs that was needed by england yesterday to win the match and enter the final india was truly outplayed Did toss prove a crucial factor yesterday? Not really, because Rohit Sharma also said that you know uh, he would have also batted anyway. See, the wicket was so good. If you go to see the way you know Hardik Pandya batted, hit the hit the ball straight down the pitch, square of the wicket behind and everything, and you know th- there was no absolutely the no urgency at all shown by Josh Butler and Alex Hill when they hit the shot, and they cleared the ground by long many many meters and also hit some crisp boundary shots. and uh, the moment they put 63 or 60 odd runs in the power play the writing on the wall was very very clear for india that they were not going to make the final we were surprised that indian bowlers did not take even a single wicket well that that is the only regret you know in a t20 match normally you know when the batsmen take chances you know they get a wicket in india that they will be very disappointed they did not, they did not get a wicket so sir india out of uh, the icc men's t20 world cup mm-hmm. losing to england we were surprised by the manner of defeat that england gave india absolutely sir they really drubbed india <laughs> it's not a it totally outclassed india were totally outclassed um, they didn't do well in the batting uh, power play but then hardik pandya at the end of the innings gave it a proper impetus still that like 168 like shrikanth told us <laughs> inside uh, the press box it was a really fighting total it may not be a winning total but some fight should have been there which was not evident when india bowled perhaps the pitch also had improved because the first innings you saw some bounce on the pitch even rahul got out the ball that climbed a bit although he was guilty of chasing it but the second innings the pitch was beautiful by the batting till it doesn't give any excuses for the way the indian bowlers bowled and we were wondering whether this is the same team which has been dominating all sorts of cricket for quite a bit of time they were coolers all the bowlers were coolers and uh, the way butler the england captain and alex hale batted they just they tore into the indian attack they pummeled them at will and the winning margin of 24 balls 10 wickets and with 24 balls to spare speaks to one tale it was a real thrashing which india got and uh, it calls for a lot of introspection we don't know what what will happen but uh, quite a few of these players will not be part of any white ball cricket in the immediate future that much i can tell you didn't alex hales make use of this shorter square boundaries to great effect absolutely that is what they do and we we fed him all that uh, <laughs> for him to take advantage of those uh, shorter boundaries it was poor planning and we have to give credit to the england uh, uh, think tank they had done their work uh, plan 
work properly, homework before coming into the match. The way they bowl to the Indian batsmen, for example, like Surya Yadav, they didn't give him that sort of pace. Uh, Mike, that Jordan, Jordan and uh, Sam Curran, they bowled well initially. Although Pandya, at the end of the innings, just stood back at the crease, deep into the crease, and hit them at will. That's what he does. I am surprised that they didn't know that this is what he does uh, towards the end of the innings. Uh, but it was still a wonderful exhibition of shot making. GB said toss did not matter to him in the end result. Mm -hmm. What did you think of the toss? I think it was a good toss to win. Putting the other side in was a was, was the right decision. Although Rohit Sharma said at the toss that he would have batted first. I don't know why he chose to. Probably because the pressure of chasing a target in a do or die match is more. That, is, that could be the only reason. Otherwise, I think putting the other side in was the right decision. Friends, you heard from G. Vishwanath and S.S. Ramaswamy that India didn't do well in their bowling department as well as the batting department. So they had to be thrown out of the World Cup for a no-show against England at the Adelaide Oval on Thursday. So it's going to be a repeat of the 1992 50-over World Cup at the MCG with England taking on Pakistan on Sunday. If you look, look back at the India-England semi-final, Josh Butler and Alex Hales shared whatever runs they had to score without losing a wicket. While Butler scored straight, Hales used the square boundaries to great effect, sweeping the spinners, slog sweeping them and pulling the medium pacers. Like S.S. Ramaswamy said, they were fed with the short balls and, and, and Hales made use of the crease, went down the wicket or swept the spinners well to give England a convincing 10 wicket victory. Nobody would have expected, even England would not have expected such a huge margin of victory. But then they have done all things right against India at the Adelaide Oval. Until next time, take care. Thank you.